my family lived about one block from the railroad station. So we were very used to the trains and my dad liked to ride the trains. And I'm the youngest of four children. And in my family, I was the photographer. At the age of eight, mom and dad gave me a brownie, a little brownie Kodak. And as things progressed, uh, I went into movies. So on that day, I had an eight millimeter movie camera and it was historically significant to us. And then it was clearly announced that there would be a train coming from New York City to Washington, D.C. And uh, impromptu, totally uh, on the spur of the moment, people began showing up along the, the sidings of the rail line, the main rail line, which at that time I thought was the Pennsylvania Railroad. I, I went over about the time that I thought the train was going to come through. It wasn't announced on television for people to pay their homage, but it was a natural thing to do along the main line, one or two in the afternoon. And there was other local citizens. I remember the Boy Scouts had arrived in their uniforms with the American flag and the Maryland flag and then the Boy Scout flag. And they were preparing to honor uh, Robert Kennedy as the train came through. That was right at the station of Elkton, the Elkton train station. Now, people had brought their children. Uh, this was history. People uh, were in, 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 in conversation very, very solemnly. And um, I, my, my camera zoomed in as the train was pulling away. I tried to capture Jackie Kennedy, and she is appearing there. And she uh, is acknowledged by the crowd. The crowd is saying, oh, it's Jackie Kennedy. I felt that I was witnessing a part of history and again my father and my mother did not come to the train station. I felt I was representing my father who loved the Kennedys. 1968 to me it means a very turbulent year in my life because we did have Martin Luther King assassinated in uh, March, the end of March of 1968, and the urban areas, the cities burned uh, in some form of retaliation. I uh, don't, uh, 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 I don't agree with what happened, but we had a lot of cities burned, and it was terrible to watch on the television because that was the reaction of a peaceful man. By the way, Martin Luther King was admired by all, everyone. So when that occurred. His assassination hurt everyone, no matter what religion or race. But that was a very turbulent time. I wasn't far away from being drafted for that war that was going on in Vietnam. For years it had gone on. Uh, some of the names on that wall that they built in Washington, D.C. were from Elkton and had gone off and didn't come back alive. And I was concerned myself and Robert Kennedy was picking up the torch, as I feel, of his brother John. And I feel there's no doubt he overwhelmingly would have been elected in 1968. So with his assassination, I thought as a 16-year-old, my, my, my town, my country is falling apart. I felt the world was falling apart.